Hello, hello, hello. Well, you are turning to another episode of The Wonder Kid Show. Today's second topic, scores and predictions for Washington versus Baltimore. Look, a lot of people are going to get mad about my prediction. And it's not because I'm voting or going against uh, Baltimore. No, 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 no. Washington fans are, because I know how things can be taken out of context. But I got to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be truthful, and I'm going to tell you everything I'm thinking and exactly why I'm thinking that. So everything I give you, I'm going to give you context. So if you are just, you know, waking up or being born today, there is supposed to be a clash of new and older star quarterbacks, Jaden Daniels versus Lamar Jackson. Now, <clears throat> this is prevalent right now, this game, for a multitude of reasons. Because Jaden Daniels is playing amazing for one. Um, and Lamar is playing like the MVP for two. But the reason why it holds so much weight and credence is because the media is using it as a jump off point as another at another time to compare another QB to Lamar Jackson. The difference with this is Jaden Daniels comp coming out of college was Lamar Jackson. And so much so, I'm going to show you a picture. These are their stats of as of week 5. 106.3 for Jaden, 107.3 for Lamar. 1,135 total passing yards, 1,206 for Lamar. 300 total rushing yards, 363 for Lamar. Eight total touchdowns, 11, 11 total touchdowns for Lamar. If you're looking at these stats, you're like, bro, that dude is close to him, right? Statistically. And I'm not even going to say he's not statistically because he statistically he is. And his completion percentage is higher by like 10% than Lamar. Having said all of that, right, he's a rookie. And it looks and it has rejuvenated Washington Commanders sports. Now, <clears throat> Lamar is still the MVP of this league. This guy is getting a lot of pump, pump, pump it up, Joe Budden, <laughs> because of his play style and the similarities that he shares with a Lamar. Now, they're different players, um, but he is playing out of his mind for a rookie right now. Now, here's where people are going to get mad, because now I'm going to give you the scores and predictions for this game. And even though... I think Jaden Daniels is playing amazing, and he's going to win Rookie of the Year, Offensive Player, uh, Rookie of the Year, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think the Ravens shellac the Commanders this week and shellac them so bad that it could derail their season moving forward. Let me explain. Now, here it goes. Lamar Jackson's stat line. I think Lamar puts on an absolute virtuoso. Last week had amazing plays and all this stuff. I think this week Lamar goes nuclear. I think um, the play action is going to be there. I think he's going to run for a lot of yards. If I was looking for the outside and just off statistics, I am I'm looking at Lamar Jackson to have roughly, roughly 240 to 270 passing yards. And 80 to 120 rushing yards. Yes. With that, I also am believing that Lamar Jackson is going to compile roughly three to five touchdown passes and one to two rushing touchdowns for the game. I think that he puts, once again, a, a different, maybe a Jackson five, but not like a full Jackson five, just passing. I could see him throwing for three, rushing for two um, in this game. So everyone be on the looks out of that. Now, <clears throat> this game for the receivers, last week it was Zay. I think Bateman catches a bomb. But I still think this is going to be a game where likely 
shows himself again. Um, I think he might go to Mark some more, but because I'm watching the numbers and the way he plays, because everything I, I do everything off of body language and I'm looking at statistics. So I'm watching the, the usage rate uh, through the pass game with Mark, and I'm thinking that they might get him a little involved passing-wise. But I think likely he's going to show out this game again, and I think he's going to have a couple highlight plays that's going to remind everyone, like, bro, he should be getting, like, the bulk of the snaps. Um, and a lot of people is going to say that, or at least run two tight end sets with him and Mark and have Kolar coming off the bench when they need a, you know, a rest. So I got likely getting a touchdown. I got Bateman. Getting a touchdown this game. Um, Derrick Henry, I believe he's going to get a touchdown because he's going to get a touchdown every week. Um, but, yeah, I, I think the Ravens put up a lot of points this game. I really do. And expect Bateman to catch at least a 40 to 60-yard pass from Lamar to take it to the house. I'm telling you all this from now. All right? There that goes. Flip side, I think Jaden Daniels starts off decent. I think that um, he works his way down the field and they 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 bend but don't break. They kick a field goal. I think that's how the, 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 the game is going to start. And I think Jaden Daniels starts to like, okay, I can play with him. Lamar and them come down and score. Jaden Daniels tries to do something. Roquan, and don't, don't come at me. I'm just saying what I feel. I think Roquan or Hamilton knocks him out of this game. I truly do. I think Roquan has been hearing all of the chatter. That he's that he's big, that he's he's heavy, that he ain't doing nothing. All he is is talk, and I think that he is going to lay the boom on Jaden Daniels, and that's going to be the uh, Jaden Daniels welcome to the NFL moment. And I think that um, that that hit is going to not hurt him, but knock him out of the game, where he probably will not be able to continue to play, or he'll be knocked out of multiple quarters. Um, and I think because of his, his way of playing, I think that then if um, Roquan hits him, the way I think Roquan is going to hit him this game, or Hamilton, um, the, 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 to, to keep things safe, to play it safe, the coaches will hold Jaden Daniel off for the rest of the game. And the Ravens will go on to absolutely run rough shot over this team. Like Lamar will go like superhuman. And then, of course, sit out. I got him sitting out, Lamar. The first, he's going to play the fourth quarter, but I think only about three minutes of the fourth quarter, and then he's going to sit. I truly believe this. And for the final score, some of y'all are going to get on me about this, but I think the Ravens go big. I think the Ravens score roughly 40 points, and the Commanders put together probably around 10. So I think the Ravens beat them by 30. And it's not because, oh, Jaden Daniels, I think that, the circumstances coming off the game that was super close to the Bengals. Um, a lot of chit chatter about the defense not holding up. The defense seems to respond well after letdowns. And I think that this is going to be a, oh, he a rookie. He think he Lamar. I think they're going to take it personal. And I think they're going to try to lay the boom on him. Now, am I wishing for that? No, I'm just, this is why I'm saying I think people are going to get mad at me. But I think Jaden starts off well, works him down. They, the, the defense bends but don't breaks once again. They kick a field goal, it hits, 0-3, Ravens ball, Lamar, first play or whatever on the first drive, breaks one, runs it in for a touchdown, second drive for the, the commanders, Jaden Daniels gets knocked out of the game. And I think that Roquan is going to do the one, but I have a feeling it could be Hamilton too, but I think Roquan is going to be the one based off his body language. I think he's going to lay the boom on him. He's going to be a runner, and Roquan is going to hit him, hit him. And I think that Jaden Daniels is going to say, ah, Ah, and you're going to see them coach you, hey, 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 get your butt to the bench, let's check you out, and going to say, you know what, let's not risk him, it'll only make us 4-2, and two, worst case scenario, live to, live to fight another day. So like I said, 40-10, to 10, Ravens, um, Lamar goes nuclear, I could see him going for a Jackson 5 this game, but the Jackson 5 wouldn't be 5 through the air, I think 3 through the air, 2 on the ground, or 4 through the air, 1 on the ground, uh, it's going to be a mixture like that. I don't think he goes above two rushing touchdowns with Derrick Henry on this team. Um, so, yeah. So, I think, like I said, I think the Ravens score 40 points. I think Lamar sits out most of the fourth quarter, and we ride off uh, against the Commanders. You know what I'm saying? Like I said already, uh, 40 to 10. So, that's my predictions. Oh, another thing, too. <clears throat> the defense gets two turnovers for this game. They also sack 
um, Jaden Daniels at least twice before I believe he gets knocked out. So there's that too. I think that softens him up because he's in the pocket, and I think that's what's going to force him to run. I think he's going to, going to force him to run right into Roquan, and Roquan's going to lay the boom on him. That's my prediction. Now, is it a is it a great? It's not something I'm proud of. I don't think he's going to be hurt for the season, and I'm not wishing. I will never wish injury on a player. I'll never do that because this is the way that they earn their money. This is the way that they provide for their families. I just think that if I'm saying predictions, I think Roquan is going to lay the boom on him, knock the wind on him, something of that effect, and he's not going to be able to continue to play this game. And then the Ravens just keep on pouring it on, and Washington fans are going to be like, this is seriously supposed to be a shootout. It didn't turn out that way. And then we get our W, and then we go to, you know, 4-2. and two. So that's my prediction for this game. Score 40-10. to 10. Ravens win big. Um, J.D. Daniels will not be able to finish this game. And Lamar Jackson, once again, quiets the doubters for another three days until they start comparing him to another quarterback and how they trust that quarterback over him moving forward. But what do you guys think? What's your scores and predictions for this game? Mind you, Jackson 5, but not all through the air. So do not forget that. Lamar goes off for Jackson 5 this game. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? And look for Bateman to score this game. 40, 50 yard bomb from Lamar, either through a screen, a quick slant, or a bomb down the field. Bateman's going to get a 40, 50 yard uh, reception touchdown for this game. I'm telling you this right now. All right. Uh, it's another thing I've watched with Ravens that a lot of people don't watch. They'll take what an opponent does against them successfully and use it the next game. Uh, if a lot of y'all don't watch tape, you can watch it and you'll see it every single time. Run plays, passing plays, specifically passing plays. You'll see that. And it'll, and it'll catch the other team off guard because it's not something the Ravens usually do. But I've noticed that's one thing that they consistently do. They take one or two plays, usually pass plays, from the opposing team that worked against them and they use it the very next week. So that's why I think Bateman's going to get that, for context, why I think he's going to get that big bomb down the field. It's going to be something a, a long crosser like what they used with Chase against us when he got the touchdown. So we're going to get to see what happens. But like I said, let me know what you think down in the comment section. What are your scores and predictions for this game? And what do you think um, Lamar and um, Jaden Daniels goes off? Let me know what you think, all right? But as always, <gasps> this episode of the Wonderkind Show! <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all now we get down, we have fun, and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You know I love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonder Kid Show's Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness. Whenever you're consumption, give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that, bottom of the screen, QR code, QR code to a cash app. Cash is located in the description of every video that we do. Name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nectar Signing Off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. 40 to 10, the commander's about to be out of here. <laughs> yeah! Finish him, daddy. Oh!